morning. Dave Weiss here with the AmokArts.com video blog of the day. I wanted to share with you today this concept that keeps coming up in my prayer time. This is this concept of enough. You know, so many times we have this idea that, well, if I'd, I'd do great things if I only had enough of whatever. And what I'm here today to tell you is you need to just be faithful and use what you have. Use what you have, trust God to bring the increase, and go with what you have. Put something out, do something, create something. Use what you have and get something done. As I look back on this year, and I know I got flack for this last year, but I challenge myself to make a new piece of art every day. And I'm on track to do that. You'll probably see a video at the end of the year that has them all in it. You know, and they're not all great. They're not all wonderful. I'm not trying to sit here and brag to you. And sometimes I wonder whether or not it was the best use of my time. But I was able to do it. I had the time to get it done. I made the time to get it done. You know, I've also read about 35 books this year. I've preached many sermons. We'll be up to 500 blog posts by the end of the year. You know, and I'm not saying this to brag on me. I'm truly not. What I'm saying is when you commit to doing something and you make it a part of your schedule, you can get it done. So what I'm asking you to do this year, as we start to look at what we're going to do in the coming year, I'm not asking you to say, I'm going to do 365 pieces of art this year. I'm not asking you to do that because as I analyze my priorities, I'm wondering if I did the right thing with that. But what I am saying is there are things that you can commit to do that will make great changes in your life. You need to commit to doing what God puts before you. You need to use what he has given you. Don't say if I had a million dollars, use the 10 that you have and do something great for the kingdom with it. Trust God to bring increase. He, he does. He loves you. The things he's calling you to do, he wants you to be able to do. So stop worrying about what you don't have. Focus on what you do have. Accomplish something with what you do have. And make the commitment that you're going to set aside some time to do the things that God is calling you to do. Two of those things that are a must. They're an absolute must. You must find time to do this. You can call it legalism if you want to. But two things you must do on a regular basis are one, pray, and two, get in the scriptures. I'm not telling you you have to read the Bible in a year. I'm not telling you you have to spend an hour a day in prayer. What I am saying is this. Your connection to God, the very thing that you need to do anything you're called to do, comes from mainly from those two things. They need to be a priority in your life. So two things this year, commit to reading the scripture and commit to prayer. The Bible says pray without ceasing. Now, obviously, that doesn't mean you're going to spend 24 hours a day on your knees. But what it does mean is you're going to keep that connection with God open all the time. Let him guide you. Let him bring you to where he wants you to be. Guys, if God is with you, you already have enough. The Bible says he owns the cattle on a thousand hills. That means anything you need, he can provide for you in one way or another. Keep the connection open. Use what you have today. And as I stated before, do, this is my prayer. Do, Lord, let me do what I can do today. So tomorrow I can do what I can't do today. And I stole that from Craig Groeschel, but it's nonetheless fitting for what we're talking about here today. Lord, help me to do today what I can do today so tomorrow I can do what I can't do today. Make that your prayer. Start to think about committing yourself to the word and to prayer and use what you've been given today to do something great for God. He will make it work if he's calling you to do it. God bless you.